Okay, so here we are. Um, join me on a ride from uh, Whaley Bridge on October the 21st. This is, uh, I've had this footage for a while, but October the 21st, we're going from Tesco's car park in Whaley Bridge. And if you look to the right there, you'll see my partner, Vicky, pulling up in her retro camper van, all right? So this is something we quite often do. We head off together uh, into the high peak, and she's in the van, and I'm on the scoot. And um, maybe not the most eco-friendly way of travelling, two vehicles, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. And um, we don't do it very often. But yeah, great, beautiful day, sun shining, blue sky, October the 21st. And um, a little bit chilly, right? It was probably about six or seven degrees. So with the wind chill on the bike, it was fairly nippy. But I was wrapped up warm. Now, check out that wagon there on the left as we're coming around the roundabout. We're coming onto the A6 bypass. And um, I'm getting into the left-hand lane. Now, if you look in the mirror, you can see that wagon is right behind me. And it starts to build up some speed, okay? Um... So I'm probably accelerating at full throttle here. I'm uh, you know, on the speedo, it's showing about 63, 64. And I've got this wagon behind me, this HGV, who's itching to get past. And here he comes on the right. Okay. Now, nothing wrong with that. All is good. Um, but a little game of cat and mouse developed, right? And it's, it is my fault because I do something very, very naughty up ahead here. Um, and I hold my hands up. It was my mistake. Um... And you'll see, right, so just a, a few hundred yards further on, we're coming down to a roundabout off this uh, A6 bypass. Now, I should have stayed in the left-hand lane here, right? The exit that I want is at 12 o'clock, so I should have stayed in the left-hand lane. And um, been a little bit cheeky, I nip up the inside, okay? Now, I shouldn't have done this, I know I shouldn't have done this, but it's only because I know the road and I know the junction. I know I can accelerate round that roundabout quicker than he can get going. So, very, very naughty of me. I hold my hands up. My mistake. But I think it really naffed him off. Okay. And um, just a little further on, he starts to bully me again. He's right up my backside. And um, just trying to intimidate me a little bit, as if to say, you know, you were in the wrong. Um, and he, he pulls past again. And I'm going flat out. So, he must have been, uh, you know, I don't, whether he's got a governor on there or not, I don't know. But. He was certainly doing some speed. Um, comes past me. And um, obviously I was in the wrong. So just let it go. And learn from your mistakes. So we're heading up the A6. And um, I've got Vicky somewhere behind me in the van. But I think I've lost her. All right. So we come up to this uh, second roundabout on the A6. And I pull in just before the roundabout into the bus, bus, the bus stop. Okay. Again, probably shouldn't have done that. But um, just letting a catch up in the van. So I pull in. And up here, the buses aren't too regular. You know, there's not that many buses that come up here. Um, I see it coming up in the distance. So off we go again. We're going to take the left-hand fork that goes up to Sparrow Pit. And um, the right-hand turn there takes you directly to Buxton. Uh, but we're going to go via Sparrow Pit. So this is a really, really scenic route. If you've never been up here, it's an amazing road for scooting on or for biking on. And um, we've got the bikers coming down there, you see on the right. Just an amazing day. Absolutely not a cloud in the sky. Just glorious sunshine. Nice and fresh. And um, I'm always very cautious, you know, when it's cold like this, that I don't go out if it's any potential of ice. Any ice on the road, any black ice, I'm staying off the, off the scoot. But I think today was safe and it was, um, it was warm enough to melt any ice. So we're heading into Sparrow Pit here now. We're coming up to the junction. If you turn right, you head over towards uh, Chesterfield and Sheffield. And there's a pub at the top, or what used to be a pub called The Wanted. I think it was called The Wanted um, here. Now, if you take this little left fork, this goes directly to Castleton. Um, that pub there is now a cafe and a gift shop. And it's, it's pretty cool. We went in there, um, I think it was Christmas Eve, just gone, there was me and a few of the lads on scoots went in there for a brew and a sandwich, um, which was cool. But yeah, nice place to stop off if you're around that area. So we're heading over this, this road here. Um, I'm going to try and pull up Google Maps so I can tell you what the roads are as we go. Um, so we're heading over this road and we're heading into Castleton now, right? That little right fork there is when it's past that takes you down to Castleton. And... We just go around the corner. Now, this corner coming up here, 
um, is a sharp left and I've seen many accidents here. I've seen footage on YouTube and Facebook of vehicles that have missed the turn and they've ended up going off the road there into the ditch opposite. So you've got to take great care there. Don't take that corner too fast. Um, so we're heading down here. This is actually a dead end. It leads down to one of the caverns, I think, Tideswell or Speedwell Cavern, um, down at the bottom. But here you can pull up. We pulled up. We've got Vicky behind me in the van. And um, great place to stop for our morning brew. Okay, cup of coffee, piece of cake. And, um, you know, what better way to admire the view than just sit in the van, get warm. Um, amazing view. Stop for a chat. Get the kettle on, love. She'll kill me for saying that. <laughs> okay. So we're back on the scoots. Or on the scoot, should I say. Getting back on the scoot. And we're going to head back into Castleton. So we're coming down when it's past. Amazing, amazing landscape. And I've put this on one of my previous videos. My first uh, group ride out video. Um, but just an amazing landscape any time of the year. We're coming down through the village of Castleton now. And um, obviously I've had to edit this video. I mean, the whole video would have been about two and a half hours. But um, edited it right down to 20 minutes. We're coming through Castleton. If you carry on this, this road here, it's the, um, the Hope Valley. So you end up coming through the village of Hope. And um, that's where we are now. We're going to pull up on the left. I think I've lost Vicky at this point. We've got a few cars between us. So I pull up on the left. And just temporarily let her catch up. Okay. So I'm pulled in there. And eventually, after about 10 minutes, we set off again. Um, and where are we heading? You see that right turn there opposite? I'm going to try and head up there. So I'm getting a good look left and right. I've got to pull a little bit of a U-turn here just to get into that junction. So a little bit dangerous, and I'm just checking, double-checking everything. She's got the indicators on, and when it's clear to do so, we pull off, and we're heading up this lane. Now, I think this lane is called Eccles Lane. All right, and I'm going to check that. Just bear with me. Yes, it is. It's Eccles Lane, okay? So we're coming from the Village of Hope, up Eccles Lane, and we're heading towards the, the village in the high peak of Bradwell, okay? So... We carry on down this road. Now, you see here, I want to turn left. There's a little car there just pulled across the uh, the junction. But I squeeze in behind. And um, this is just like a tree-lined country lane. Amazing when the sun is just shining through like that. This kind of dappled sunshine coming through. Really, really picturesque. And um, carry on down this lane. Very, very nice. A little bit of gravel on the road, so I'm just being very careful here. And eventually, we get to this junction here with the main road. And it is, this, this road is called the Main Road, uh, which heads into the village of Bradwell, okay? So, quick check behind, make sure that the retro camper is still with me. That's a Renault camper van, it's about 35 years old, I think, and um, she's done it up quite nice inside. I'll tell you more about that in a minute when we get out of this junction. So I'm just checking the traffic. You, there's no way you want to get these junctions wrong with these HGVs coming round at this speed, you know? Um, so off we go. So yeah, the camper van. She bought the camper van just before the start of the very first lockdown. Got very, very lucky with the price. And, um, it was a bit of a wreck. She's had some work done on it. Um, done it up nicely inside herself. Kind of budget, um, renovation. But made it quite cosy. And, um, it's got a full 12 months MOT on it just. And... You know, I think the price of the camper vans during lockdown has actually doubled because everybody wants a camper because they're doing staycations. So she got really lucky with the van and it is great for these days out because we can pull up anywhere and just have a brew and uh, have some lunch. Um, but yeah, we're heading through the village of Bradwell and nice little scenic village. Look at these roads, just absolutely brilliant. Very, very quiet as well. Um, you know, in terms of Going out in October when it's a little bit chillier, you've not got the same traffic that you would have in the summer or in the spring. So just nice empty roads. Um, just ideal for scooting on. You know, when you're out and about on a day like today, it just makes you so glad you're on two wheels. Um, just having fun, you know. Even better if there's a pack of you, a group of you. 
So we're heading down here now. Where do we go from here? We've gone through Bradwell and we're heading over um, towards, I think we're on the B6, B6049 heading up towards Coplow Dale. Coplow Dale, okay. Nice fast road, uh, wide open. In fact, I'm not even sure if that bit of footage there is the correct road, I'll be honest with you. I think it is. I may have got it mixed up during the editing, but I think that's the road. And it heads up towards Coplodale. We're heading in the direction of Tideswell. Okay. So we're going to head back towards the um, the A623 main road near Tideswell. Okay, and that's where we're heading right now. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, so we're on the B6049. And we're just coming up to this junction here now. We're heading up towards the junction uh, with the A623 near Tideswell. All right, so as we get to the junction, you'll see um, on the right there, we've got the Anchor Inn, which is a well-known watering hole on the main road, um, the A623. Now, if we turn right there, we're going to head back towards Sparrow Pit. Okay, but if we turn left, we're heading uh, in the opposite direction and we're heading towards, um, we're kind of going east, right? So we're heading over towards Chesterfield that way. But we're not going to go that way because before we get there, we're going to take a right-handed turn um, and we're going to head towards a village called Wardlow, okay? Wardlow in the High Peak. And to do that, we take a road called the B6 four six five which is a right-handed turn up ahead okay so we're heading towards the village of wardlow and um just look at these roads absolutely amazing right just absolutely amazing the best fun that you can have uh with your clothes on on your own all right uh, even though i'm not on my own right i've got vicky in the van behind but just amazing fun just the sense of freedom that being on two wheels gives you and um you know, if you've got a scooter that is your pride and joy, it's just an amazing feeling, guys. Recommended to everybody, all right? So up ahead here, we're going to take this right-handed turn. The B6465. You see me slowing down now. And i um, got to be really careful with these HGVs coming, you know, at high speed. We take the right-handed turn and off we go to Wardlow, okay? So... You'll actually see me slow down up here as well. You'll see me slow down. Now, the reason I slow down is there is a horse coming in the opposite direction just here. We've got a car pulled in on the left um, that I have to move out to avoid. And um, we've got a horse coming the other way. So extra care taken with the horses. And, um, you know, if I'm out and about on the scoot on a very narrow lane and there's a horse coming the other way, what I'll often do is pull up and turn the engine off just because the noise of the scooter may be a little less familiar to a horse and it's more likely to uh, to freak out. So, you know, allow them a little bit of space and patience and, um, you know, put others first. This is a good safe uh, motto, really, as far as horses are concerned. Okay, so we're heading over this road. I'm not even sure if this footage here is in the right sequence, to be honest with you. Um, it might have been slightly out of sync there from the editing. But we pull in here. At this pub now this pub is called um we're looking for a little spot of a spot of lunch and we're pulling at the monsal dale um what's it called it's called the monsal dale head pub i think um so i pull in always always looking to park the scoot in a safe place i'm very cautious about parking it in the main car park spaces where you know you might get a vehicle reversing out and just nudge your scooter and knock it over and cause a lot of damage so i always try and park like here just behind this wall um usually in places where i can see it as well you know not too far off in the distance i like to be able to see it from the window um so we went into the pub the pub itself was too busy and uh, it was a long waiting time so we left that pub with no food in our bellies got back on the uh, on the scoot and we headed back towards buxton okay and i think on route to buxton we actually stopped at a pub called the Angler's Rest in Millersdale, which is a great pub. Um, if you've never been there, great pub, great food, the Angler's Rest in Millersdale. 
From Millersdale, we got back onto the A6 and we headed back to Buxton. I've not included all that footage just because I needed to edit it, edit it down. But now we're back on this hill called, uh, this road called Long Hill, which goes from Buxton to Whaley Bridge. And if you've watched my other videos, you'll recognise this. It's the same road that we used on the um, Fast Road Scary Corners video. And I've ridden this road several times now, feeling so much more confident now than I did when I first started. Um, you know, I've ridden this road many, many times and um, it's just an absolute pleasure on a day like today. Look at that sky. Okay, just absolutely stunning. And um, maybe next year, I'll, you know, on, in a few more months, I'll do another video comparing the original ride over here with the, uh, with the current one and just see what the difference is. But I feel so much more confident now and um you know always happy to head over here so guys thanks for watching and um just want to say as well in terms of eco if there's any eco warriors watching this who are chastising us for taking out two vehicles on one day then um, just be assured that we don't do it too often and also my aim for this year is to get vicky on the back of the scoot riding pillion all right so we can just take the one vehicle out and we can have just as much fun um so yeah Great ride, thanks for watching guys, and um, also if you're out and about in the high peak and you see us, see us on the scoot or in the van or out together, then please stop and say hello, it'd, it'd be great to meet some of the viewers, and um, you know, I know a few people have messaged and they've said that they've either seen us out and about or they'll look out for us, so if that's you and you do spot us, don't be afraid to, uh, to introduce yourself, alright? Guys, thanks for watching, ride safe, and... Um, Looking forward to doing more videos in the spring. All right. I'll leave you with the last few minutes of the video. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already. All right. Cheers.